Oh god, I forgot all about this guy. He broke. <sighs> That's my own fault. My name is Quagersol. Welcome back to Europa and Eurosalis 4. You might have been wondering where the heck the Double Emperor Challenge has been, and I apologize for the absence, but it's here now. If you missed the first episode, we played awfully. We united Ireland. We got the Spanish fly achievement for a union over Galicia. We took the rest of the British Isles and formed Ireland itself for the luck of the Irish achievement. And we've got ourselves a nice little colonial empire going. Today we're going to continue on that uh, colonial empire and we're going to start invading over in this region to eventually flip to probably Confucian and then uh, take the Mandate of Heaven from the Ming. Now, if this series gets a third episode, I will be coming back to Europe and becoming the Holy Roman Emperor. I gotta flip back to Christianity for that. Um, but you can hold both at the same time, and that is our overall goal. If you would like to see that third episode and you want to help the video and the channel, I appreciate you. Just like the video and comment down below. Also, we're going to be giving away the Mandate of Heaven DLC over on my Discord. So if you want to be a part of that, check down in the description. There'll be a link to the Discord. All you got to do is comment on this video and then comment in the giveaway registration channel on my Discord. And you'll be entered to win the Mandate of Heaven DLC. Um, and stay tuned for the third episode where we'll be giving away a copy of the Emperor DLC. I'm just trying to give back to you guys because you've helped grow me for a lot in the last couple months. And I super appreciate it. But anyways, let's quit blabbing and let's jump in and get some of this done. Alright, so we are working on vassalizing Yaren here. Once we do that, we're going to move in on the Manchu. Carve out a nice little area for him. Flip him Christian so that we can store some Protestant dev over here. That's my goal. You notice I'm not doing military ideas. And there's a reason for that. Um... Well, first of all, late in, later in the game, I may get rid of exploration and replace it with a military idea or something. But I need... I needed these to colonize. I need this to clean myself up and to more easily flip religions back and forth by being able to convert what I want to convert. Really, it doesn't help me flip religions. It helps me stabilize after flipping religions. Um, but that's super important. And now we're going to get diplomatic and influence um, so that we can become the emperor when the time comes. Alright, let's make this guy a vassal. Enforce religion. My missionaries are doing something. The game thinks my missionaries are doing something, but they're not. 544 with a strong claim. Or 100 of each monarch point. What are we looking at now? 636? I'm going to do it. I'm hoping that she's relatively young. Yeah. See, there we go. Now, he'll hopefully die before she does. And we'll get a better heir. Alright, here we go. These guys are going to get massive attrition. We have to declare this war. Hey, the oil rat's going to break. Got a lot of cores, but I am going to go for a holy war. I don't care about aggressive expansion. It is less cost. Let's go for the less cost. I'm wrong. We will make uh, that the war goal. He only has a bunch of cavalry. Go across. Go there. So I asked around on the Discord, if somebody had any funny ideas for our new colonial nation, the Irish Eastern America. And I think I'm going to try to find some sort of pun to do with, well, obviously potatoes. <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. It's dumb. That's the point. The idea is to store Protestantism in subjects. Flip to another religion by taking more than 50% of my dev as that other religion. 
and then integrate those subjects so that we have more than 50% dev Protestant again. And then uh, spawn Protestant rebels and immediately flip back to Protestant because we're more than 50% Protestant. So it's going to require math, which of course is bad for me, but I'll get there. Am I ballsy enough to ship you guys over to here and start conquering some of these little tribes? I think the answer is yes. Whether that's smart or not is a completely different discussion. The Cheyenne. Cheyenne's one that are, is more cumbersome. So let's just go here. Just seat that down. They attacked me. I beat both somehow. Oh god, it just keeps coming. I am on a mountain fort capital of his. Ah. Oh. Somehow. I thought I was going to get that somehow, but actually quite close. That'll work. That'll work. Let's just get out of this war, so then I can be more better prepared for the next one. I don't want to get call for peace. It's too much micro, and I'm not about that life. As soon as we get Defender of the Faith again, I'll get two missionaries again. Um, I currently only have one because the base one seems to be gone. And I think it's because I was using it in a subject when I formed Ireland and there's a long-standing bug where that can make it disappear. It's just gone. It, it, like, it's, it's not in use anywhere. I literally only have one guy in use. No one else is in use. I'm only being charged for one. Um, but... It says, uh, see, now I'm not using either, and it says I only have one out of two, so that sucks. That's going to make it a lot harder. Only have two. We just, we don't get the base one anymore. We only have the one from missionary schools, and uh, that kind of sucks. But it is what it is. It's Iron Man, can't go back. Now, Ming has... hundred and seven thousand so we're gonna need to bring that other 30 stack from the new world as well oh god I forgot all about this guy oh, okay we'll split you go there he broke that's my own fault Irish, let's see, Irish Canada, uh, potatoes in permafrost. I don't know how well that'll go, but that's what we're going to attempt. All right, there we go. We had to do a dumb extra set of fights, but uh, at least done now. England formed Texas. Queen Elizabeth Tudor of Texas. <laughs> That's great. All right, our attacker is going to be, I think the two, three. We'll keep the one, four and the one, three, two, two, the seizure. And then you should switch for this guy that's drilling. There's a fort here, so let's make this the war goal. Actually, no, no, you know what? Let's make Fujiao the war goal. Hope it's enough. All right, we have full cannons here. We are okay. 
let's get a blockade going. Once we get the war goal, we'll spread out a little bit. I'm not allowed to ask for maps while at war, am I? I am. Will you give me North China? Thank you. In a month, I'm going to ask you for South China. I know this is going to hurt us when we fight, but I need these maps. South China? Do we get into fights? Let's check. Uh, armies... 98k has got 20,000 manpower. 30 mercs. Let's use our... Multiplayer smarts here. We want a full combat width that includes... Uh, that includes the cav. 1607 we probably don't want to include the cav and i think we use the one four over no i think we use the two three so the two three has 2504 so the one that has 2504 gets the one cannon and goes up to 30 for the combat width Let's confirm that now we could take the tech and bring the cav. But I don't think that's going to be useful. And then I'm going to split this one in half, half, half. Started a new fight for a few days. That was lucky. All right, then we take the one big stack out of there. So the others are coming in and won't be too bad on attrition. Now, the other thing we might do is all we need to do is take the fort. All we need is that. Then our next war can be um, a holy war. But I kind of want my three claims. Holy crap. Oh, he really doesn't want to be in this. Okay. Just one fight, stand on your capital. Now, we will not convert these. We need to full state them. Full core them, full state them. Alright, there's no need to dilly-dally. No need to mess around. Holy war. You got a bunch more troops. Die. Go. Go. Did not stack wipe. That's okay, we have crappy generals. Alright, we're taking this. Hey, look, 60 power projection. Hey, look, I don't have any admin. All right, so it looks like Ming is in massive amounts of debt. 74, 61. He might get out of that, which would be good because we could use Ryuku to attack him. But this is a free attack on Korea with only 20,000 men. So I'm going in. The Shamrock States. I thought it's hilarious. It's dumb. It's exactly what I'm looking for. Give me your country. You're going to siege? Okay, I'll kill you. At least we have some admin this time. We even have enough to do the, the last one once we kill the, the rebels. Oh, and they even left. Get them away. Alright, when is the truce with you? It's in 10 years. Okay, Ryuku... Nice. He's in more debt, but he likes Ryuku more. Hey, Silk went up. 
Good, we're going into China. All right, Ming. White piece. Let's let's not be greedy. Let's just take this. Yay! Pull that to there. There we go. Then we'll get those other three at some other point. It's more dev probably. It's a 100% piece deal. It's over. It's too much overextension, which is a problem. But I think I'm just gonna suffer through it. I just looked on the Discord. A few more people answered, so I'm gonna do Paytoniums. The 13 Clovers. They're not even related. These all had a theme. <laughs> I love it. I love how big Texas is getting. There we go. I also want the island and your money. Go away. Irish Korea. That's That's a thing. Don't worry about it. All right, we can probably do this now. And he's beating the Oirat. We knew he would. That's why I didn't need to get involved. I'm doing this one. Not enough. I will find a different way um, by giving away land. Becomes Yes! Confusion becomes the new state religion of Ireland. We are at 43.7% Protestant with the addition of these new Confucian lands, which I will core up some of and we can now accept their demands and under all the autonomies you see confucian becomes the new state religion of ireland this will also apply to the ruler and possible heirs gain 10 percent of land to the clergy and our absolutism not max but current absolutism decreases those are all unfortunate but uh worth it because we can now become the Emperor of China. Hey! Irish Australia in New Zealand. I'm gonna call this New Irish Oh, I rosh. New Irish Paddy Fields. <laughs> that was a good one, Grip. We gain the take mandate of heaven, Cassus Belli, against the Ming. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I don't have a diplomat. I have 100% spy network, so I should be able to beat him fairly quickly. Take the mandate of heaven. Go. Uh, you. Go. Go support him. Go to the capital. Go there. I like a month. Okay. How much war score do you need for stealing the mandate? It's only 50? We're negative 2 away? That's <laughs> freaking awesome. And there we go. We have claimed the Mandate of Heaven. And then I'm just going to move our capital here. Okay. Ireland. Now, we still have an Emperor and an Heir. So despite changing our government type over to Celestial Empire and getting this the weird... Uh, meritocracy and stuff we should be able to flip back to Christian and become the Emperor of the HRE I don't know if we're allowed to integrate EUs or make new ones even when we turn back Christian that's something that I will check in the next episode but we did it this is no longer Ireland this is Irish Britain this is Ireland we are the Emperor of China, the Irish Emperor of China. The last emperors were all from Ming, now it's from Ireland. In 1658, about eight years later than I intended or thought, I was just estimating, I think that's pretty good. Next episode, we will flip back Christian. We will fight Austria because I don't think we can we can get I think we could get three votes, but we needed to take three from him directly at the time, and now we need to take four or three from him and Bohemia, and uh, yeah, it's going to be difficult, but I think it's possible, and it just requires fighting Austria a few times, but not taking any land from him and forcing him to get broken up, maybe give it over to the Ottomans. <laughs> 
that's dirty. Maybe just weaken him so that the Commonwealth takes land. Maybe just split out people. Pay a bunch of Diplo to split out people. We're going to annex Gaeldom and Yaren, which will return this area to us and give us all this area, which is all Protestant land. So we should be able to flip back because we're only at 51.7%. We can flip back to Protestant and start cleaning up all that confusion. But anyways, that was really fun. I hope you guys are enjoying. Let me know what you guys think of for a the next challenge we should do after the Double Emperor. Um, and, and stay tuned for the next episode. We'll be giving away the Emperor DLC. If you missed the beginning where I was talking about that DLC, we're giving away the we're giving away the Mandate of Heaven DLC. Check down in the description. Come over to the Discord. You can get entered to win. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. How about checking out one of the other videos on the screen? Leave a like if you enjoyed, and subscribe if you want to see more. It really helps out the channel. Comment down below with other videos you'd like to see, or head on over to the Discord. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.